know, we're in a interesting situation with the economy, with uh, what is going to transpire in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I had been mentioning to a lot of my team and to other uh, people who are in business that this is really a foxhole to foxhole strategy. You know, we're in a situation where it's sort of like a war where you have to every morning sort of get up and you the bombardment is going on every morning. I think a lot of people get up every morning and, and just want to hide because they know what's really, you know, the case for most people is that they're they're intaking a lot of negative news and they're they're kind of gestating, you know, what does this mean for me? Well, on the other side, there are other people who are looking to take advantage of first mover assets. And what I mean by that is if you're in a foxhole and this is your uh, scenario where, you know, you're in the battle and again, consider this uh, the parallel universe to a, a war. I would, I'm not trying to make it exactly the same, but it's, it's parallel in that we've really got a few things to do, which is that if we stay in the foxhole, chances are we end up uh, in a worse position overall because if we don't move forward, uh, the inevitable kind of bomb hits the shelter, right? And, and so you got to keep moving. And, and this is the key about this um, virus issue. And, and in, in general, it's, it's more of a business strategy for those who are interested in business dialogue. And that's sort of why I, I brought this uh, to uh, your attention. I think this would be good. So you, the listener, uh, this is the scenario I see playing out. The ones who take first mover advantage are the ones who are going to actually show up uh, in the social feeds and in a lot of the play in the uh, leadership categories that are going to be found as we move through the next couple of weeks. There's no magic bullet. There's no silver lining to any of this. It's more about uh, are you willing to step up and start to describe what your value is uh, to the market uh, because right now, the only way you can do that is through uh, video, pretty much. And, and that's why you're seeing this video, is I'm trying to escalate into people's minds that no matter what type of business you have or what type of service you're, you're providing, uh, it, there, there has to be a, a transition. We've sort of flipped the script, if you might want to say, on all of our businesses from uh, selling services to really providing value into the market. Because right now, obviously, transactional stuff, unless you're a uh, first responder or service provider that has uh, allowed to be out in the lockdowns, you know, there's a challenge in um, providing uh, new revenue streams. However, there is a longer term strategy here that needs to be put in place. And most people are very, very short sighted right now and are just basically not taking advantage of thinking through, again, the first mover assets that you can grant yourself by becoming valuable to the market in other ways. We have a lot of businesses across the boards, medical, service oriented. Uh, we run the gamut from A to Z of types of businesses that we've worked with. The ones who are succeeding, no matter what industry they're in, are the ones who have basically come back to us and said, you know, what we want to do is we want to provide a really comprehensive way to engage with our audiences through social media. Because obviously there's eight hours a day that people are on Facebook and Instagram and other social channels. So we want to engage with them. We want to provide value. We want to really drive home our principles of the business on how we can derive the best connection and trust as we go through this, because that's the real value. Certainly there are services that we're providing like telemedicine and, and, and teleconsulting for psychology and, and a whole litany of things that are still viable in this economy. However, there are toeholds in lots of little sectors that we're finding out. We do a lot of medical, we do a lot of uh, service oriented businesses, and each one of them has found a little nugget of uh, value that they're bringing to their audience and finding that they're getting some good response back. And that's the key. In fact, even today I was speaking with someone, they said, you know, I'm surprised I haven't seen you doing coaching online yet. And I said, well, that's funny you mentioned that. Uh, I just had set up all of my uh, video equipment. And one of the things I'm trying to bring to people is to say, 
you know, it's beyond just coaching at this point. It's about execution. You're going to be locked down at least for the next four weeks. The worst thing you can do is not do something because what ends up happening is you, you, you'll you drive yourself crazy uh, to the point where you become sort of obsessive about seeing other people doing things. And if you continue to not do things, it will drive you crazy. I think that's probably one of the things that would, you know, really start to uh, engage people's mindsets is that after a certain period of time, you know, you have to provide some sort of life balance. And part of that is that you have to think through the process of bringing yourself and your uh, life entity into the zeitgeist of the internet right now. Because, you know, the less we have of human uh, connection and the less that we have of uh, being in social situations where we're used to telling our story, you know, the less we have of that opportunity to expand upon our own mind on what we have um, as a personal sort of present to the other people. And I always thought that this was something that was um, inherent in our society that, you know, inevitably, as we grow more connected to computers, that you know, we become more valuable if we can bring more assets through uh, being able to speak with people logically uh, and give them the information that they would need in order to change their life uh, through uh, other types of vehicles like what you're seeing right now. As a listener or a watcher, you know, I'm talking through a very simple apparatus where it's just a phone and a simple microphone, and I'm able to transmit to anywhere in the world with very simple services. And I think this is really what I'm trying to get across to most people that um, are in businesses and are stuck, don't know what to do. You've got to use the very basic things that you have in front of you to start to create some momentum in your world, because this is going to make you feel better more than anything else, is to start talking about things, start showing people what you're doing, whether you're you know artist or you're you have a um, medical uh, clinic or you have a, a service that you all the things that are happening right now are going to be value add value based so that when we get to the other side of this challenge that we're facing right now is that the people who have got that first mover advantage and started to impact people's lives with positive messaging and positive interactions are the ones who are going to be engaged with when we get to the other side right away because they've been basically already there. They've shown their value and they've started to get some subscriptional value as a person or a entity in where we're going with this problem that we have today. And the issue is that it's distribution that really becomes now the thought process. And, and so we've got a team of people that have been doing distribution for 10 years across the internet whether it's social media or SEO or websites or uh, video. And, and now I look at this and go, you know, one of the things that could help a lot of people who are in sort of need is to be coached through how to do this. So we're going to start doing some coaching on how to do this. In fact, I'm working together with our videographer to help with starting a process of explaining how to put a kit together, how to put together lighting, how to get together a distribution strategy for social, how to map it out. We've been doing this for years, and now we can bring it to you. So what I enjoy is if you have a positive reinforcement to this process of learning how to do this and taking the step forward that you need to take in order to sort of dismantle some of the challenges that are going on in every day, you know, instead of putting your helmet on and ducking and covering in the foxhole, move to the next foxhole ahead of you. Take some time to think through what you provide as value and then start recording it and start putting it out. And you could certainly utilize us as a resource to get the distribution built. And we've got this built to you know, such a mechanical level that the leverage that we've created has gotten a lot of our clients uh, back into good graces with feeling that they're at least starting the process of rolling downhill right now with creating great strategy for the other side of this uh, conquest of this challenge that we're having right now. And, and that's really the thing is to consider that, you know, if you look at this negatively, you're going to have a negative outcome. If you look at this positively, you will have a winning outcome because you're moving yourself into the next phase of this. 
time marches on, we are way past one day, two day, four day, seven day, two weeks now, when it's four weeks, when it's six weeks, when it's eight weeks, whenever this is over, the content you've created, the value you've presented will come back like karma to you. So consider these things. I'll be doing more coaching sessions. We'll be entering our next phase where we'll be opening up our Profit Engines coaching and community to help people through the challenges they're facing today. Get some action and accountability set so that you set yourself up for winning. And that's what's going to happen in my world that I'll translate to your world. I hope this helps. Stay tuned for more.